All right, we're most of the way there. Stick with me as we move to the rear of the camera. Starting with this button, the playback button. Pressing this button will display the last image or video file that you shot. You can see the difference in the upper left hand corner of the rear LCD. This little symbol, the little movie camera symbol, is for the movie mode. To play the movie back, simply press the OK button. You can also use the buttons on the multi-selector wheel to fast forward or reverse through your video. Give it a try, it's easy to play back. Now, if you're looking at images and pictures, you can go forward and backwards using the multifunction control too. Left will take you back over your images, while right will take you forward. Now, if you want to review some information about your photo, or even your videos, clicking up will allow you to review your image details. You can review things like the histogram, which we'll talk about more later, your ISO setting, your aperture and shutter speed, Clicking again will show you the artist information and if you've added any copyright info. You can set this information in the menus, which I'll show you later on. The next screen will show you any retouching info and dynamic rain changes you may have made. The next two pages will show you the other settings you had your camera on when you took the shot. And lastly, it shows you the histogram again but this time broken down to the three primary colors and the overall brightness. More on histograms later on, as I said. Lastly, you can see any areas of your shot that is too bright. These are called the highlights. Moving next door to the little garbage can button, while you're viewing your images, you can click on the garbage can button, well, actually called the delete button, to erase your images. Clicking twice on one image or movie clip will erase it from your memory card. Now a quick word about deleting images from your memory cards using the camera's LCD screen and the garbage can button. The Nikon D7000 has a really great high definition screen, but I would never rely on it to make a decision to delete an image or a movie. In fact, what I recommend is that you wait to delete any images until after you've transferred them to your computer. Then you can safely evaluate them on your computer's screen. If you want to delete them then, you're free to do so with no regrets, because you've seen it at its best.